Eddie Fraudner of Eddie and the Wolf. Thank you for coming here. Today we explore a very traditional cooking technique, braising, which I think people sometimes get like really scared, but I think the most important thing is choose your ingredients well and follow a very simple basic process. And I think people will overcome their fear of braising. It's freezing cold. You're in New York City. What do you want to eat? Where I'm from, from Austria, when, when it's like freezing cold, that's when you like really venture into the rich cuts. The short rib, which is sitting in a very, very tough part of the meat, needs a longer cooking time. Mm -hmm. You see all this like the senuin, like some like silver skin here, the marbleization within the meat. It's beautiful. So we're gonna start off by like number one, let's fire up the ovens and please season on all sides evenly. We will need some root vegetables. So I got some baby leek and some carrot here. Okay, you see we're we are smoking, smoking in there. That's that's exactly what we want. Perfect. You basically make sure that this piece of meat is seared evenly on all sides. This is what you want. You want this like nice crust here. After the last piece, we're gonna add our mirepoix, which is basically shallot, carrot, yellow beet, and baby leek. So it's got that nice brown on all sides. This is perfect. Look at the beauty. And now all the residue in the pan we're gonna use. All that fat. To develop more flavor. And now garlic. Some peppercorn, just a little bit of rosemary and, and a tiny bit more of thyme because it's so intense. In that context, that just like a small leaf of sage will be simmering for at least two and a half, three hours okay. easily. The most important part of the braise is the, is the red wine. This is a classic wine you would eat with this. Cheers. This is 100% Blau Frankish from Austria. Blau Frankish is a native grape to Austria, so this is like super traditional. Now we're gonna add it right into there. And that's gonna deglaze the bottom of the pan so all that sticky, good, bits of meat and oil and all of that. But we forgot one important part, which is very untraditional. Mm -hmm. I like to use combo in my braises. It's basically a seaweed, which just like intensifies like one more level yeah. of taste for this dish. So we got this bubbling pretty good here. We're gonna add some brown sauce, which is like basically a, a, a bone stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this guy in, back in the pool. Right now, the heat only comes from the bottom, so you don't want that. I'm gonna go and throw this into the oven because it has more, more even heat. And so you cover it with the foil so it's like it won't reduce too far. Exactly. So, after a solid two and a half, three hours and like yeah. three balls of wine, we're gonna give a modern touch to the short rib. Okay. We're gonna have the grilled radicchio. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks salad is only meant to be eaten raw. But um, what we're gonna do today is make wedges and grill those wedges in the pan. So drizzle of oil because the pan is really hot already. See when you hear this, this is exactly what you wanna hear. Yeah. And then a tiny bit of butter. While this is shaping up, I wanna see your garlic fist slam it. There you perfect. Go. Then some thyme. Give it, okay. give it some salt on one side. This is perfect. And that smell, it's just like, it's invigorating. Love it. You can really smell the thyme coming out. Okay. What do you got here? Yam puree. Using yams instead of potatoes, why? It's a bit less starch. And it's also like, I want to go away from this like classic idea of, oh my God, Austrian cooking is just meat and potato. Yeah. Austrian cooking is a lot of meat and potato, but you know who says that a variation of potato and a variation of meat cannot be delicious? Mm -hmm. So then we want to cut it against the grain. Can you see this? all soft, it's, it slowly braids, it means it's like pinkish throughout. We add the um, grilled radicchio. In order to brighten up the acid of this dish, we add some like fresh pickled shallot. So then, this is our braising jus. The second you take out the meat from the liquid braise, you strain it. All right, let's see how you did, chef. No, we we did. That's how we did. We did. You like to go with every layer, right? Ideally, every single component, one bite. Get in some of the radicchio. I like the radicchio because it's so it's so fast to do, and most people like they're not the biggest fans of like bitter salads anyway. But like with the way we treated them today, it also develops like a, a little sweetness even. You got the nice crust on the outside, the reduction. It's super tender. Look how even the meat is cooked, mm -hmm. and it's like it's weather appropriate. It's like that's what you eat in New York City when it's cold outside. It seems like a difficult, intimidating thing, but when you just take it step by step and take it slow, you can have something great like this braised short rib. Well done. Really nice. Cheers. Or as the St. Austria, prost. Prost. 
Okay. Now here's your egg. And that's gonna go right on. Right on it. Yours is 